Demon Slayer has quickly risen in popularity to become one of the most watched and beloved anime of all time. Yuvitable deserves all the credit for animating a beautiful show that has become the driving force behind the manga's popularity. The fact that Demon Slayer, Mugen Train has gone on to become the highest grossing Japanese movie release of all time is a testament to how beloved the series is. A big part of what makes Demon Slayer such a beloved show is its fight scenes. The breathing styles that these slayers use in battle make for some beautiful visual spectacles as they engage in some truly high-octane battles. Flame breathing is one such technique that is beautiful to witness, with Kyojuro displaying the effectiveness of this technique during the Mugen Train arc. For curious fans, here are all the techniques of this breathing style. Before continuing, make sure you subscribe to this channel, because there is a lot of interesting information, don't miss it. Flame breathing is a ferocious technique that uses a mix of power and skill to decimate any enemy that might be standing in a person's way. Each of its forms is meant to communicate the sheer force of power that accompanies every strike in this breathing style. The first form itself is as brutal as it is dazzlingly beautiful. It's the simplest technique, where the user simply charges towards the enemy and tries to behead them with the swiftest and cleanest strike. However, a technique that sounds so basic ends up taking a form of its own with the power of flame breathing. It shows everything that this technique is not to be trifled with in the slightest. The second form of flame breathing is an effective technique that uses the upward trajectory of a sword slash to great effect. Users of flame breathing that manage to get their breathing under control can unleash an extremely powerful upward slash that rises up in a near perfect arc and decapitates any enemy that might be unlucky enough to get caught in this technique. It's beautiful in the adaptation, with the rising arc and the trail of flames looking absolutely gorgeous. The rising scorching sun is another simple yet powerful technique that most flame breathing users should be familiar with if they want to call themselves the master of this particular breathing style. Flame breathing's third form is pretty much the opposite of the second form. Instead of swinging their blade upward, the user strikes downward instead with as much power as possible. Most lesser demons would be incapacitated in one go with this technique, although it's obvious that someone like Akaza would require way more effort to be taken care of with this technique. While Blazing Universe might not have been all that effective in Demon Slayer, there's no denying that this move still boasts a lot of power. It's one of the better techniques present in this breathing style, and can serve as a valuable addition to anyone's arsenal. Certain moves in a breathing style end up being incredibly useful due to the impressive degree of their usefulness in battle. This applies to blooming flame undulation, which allows flame breathing users to mount both a great attack and defense at the same time due to the practical nature of this technique. The explanation makes this technique seem rather simple, with the user spinning his blade around in a circular motion at rapid speeds. However, it's the application of this technique that makes it so useful in battle. It allows users to block and deflect projectiles when at long range, and is particularly devastating in close range against a group of demons. If this technique is carried out to the letter, then it wouldn't be a stretch to say that multiple enemies could be easily beheaded with this technique. Sometimes, a single attack isn't enough to take down a hardy demon. In such an event, the user needs to carry out multiple attacks with pinpoint precision in order to expose defenses and hopefully land a mortal blow. Flame Breathing's fifth form is meant to accommodate this requirement, with Flame Tiger being one of its best moves. This technique involves the user using multiple sword slashes to whittle away at their opponent, 
with the aura of their attacks being so strong and overpowering that they take on the form of a tiger that's covered in flames. Suffice to say, any lesser enemy that's unlucky enough to be caught in this technique will find themselves departing from the world sooner rather than later. Only the legendary Rengoku family would have the gall to jump straight to a ninth form after learning the five established forms of flame breathing. This original form is one of the most powerful attacks in flame breathing's repertoire with a destructive capacity that is breathtaking to behold. Similar to the first form, Rengoku is a slashing attack employed by the user after dashing toward an opponent. However, its destructive capacity is so immense that it can leave a full-blown crater at the point of impact. In order to hammer in just how destructive this technique really is, the adaptation of Demon Slayer also features a dragon wreath in flames that is generated while dashing towards the opponent at high speed. It's easily one of the most powerful techniques in the entire show. That's it all flame breathing techniques explained in Demon Slayer. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to give me the power to make other interesting videos.